Well, let's speak to Manny Wax, who became a campaigner against sexual abuse after he suffered abuse as a child in an Orthodox Jewish community in Australia. Manny, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Uh, what do you make of such a senior figure as Cardinal Pell returning to Australia to face historical sex abuse charges like this? The most important message it sends out is that no one individual is above the law. It doesn't make a difference if it's a religious figure or anyone else. And I think that's an important message to send out. Of course, everyone deserves the presumption of innocence, but the fact that the police have taken this step uh, to charge Cardinal Pell, uh, we certainly hope to see uh, justice for his alleged victims. And what's been done by Australian church authorities to uh, prevent uh, such abuse from happening and to uh, listen to cases where uh, people are saying that they were abused as children? The, we've seen many developments over the last few years, especially in the context of the Royal Commission into Institutional Responses to Child Sexual Abuse, which was established by the Australian Government to look at institutions. And of course, the Catholic Church has uh, been uh, the one organisation constantly um, being uh, assessed for how it's handled and responded, whether it's Ballarat or other places throughout the country in Australia. I think it's also important to remember in relation to Cardinal Pell, this isn't only while the latest uh, revelations and, and, and developments are regarding uh, the alleged abuse he was involved in against um, a number of complainants. Uh, we must remember that this man was the most senior Catholic Church figure in Australia for decades, and he had an immense responsibility, and under his leadership, there was rampant abuse, cover-ups, intimidation, and any time victims or their families approached the Catholic Church to try to resolve these matters, they were constantly um, treated in a way that is ungodly, unreligious. Where is the compassion? Where is the love? And that is at the core of the issue for many uh, of, of the victims within the Catholic Church who say that uh, George Pell should have resigned long ago, should have taken responsibility of what happened under his leadership. If he wasn't aware what was going on, the rampant abuse and cover-ups that was going on in Australia, in the, within the Catholic Church, he needs to take responsibility for that because clearly he was incompetent as a leader. Or worse, if he knew and was involved in the cover-ups, then there is no question about it. So the view of many, okay. probably he, the prevailing I mean, he... view in Australia and beyond. Uh, uh, George Pell, of course, uh, uh, denying that he's involved in, in any of these allegations. But I know that you have worked with many, many victims of child abuse. Do you think uh, enough is being done to support these people uh, in, in, in all uh, religious communities? Are religious communities taking responsibility for what happened and, and working to support victims? Let's remember that um, this issue of child sexual abuse uh, impacts and, and, and happens in every segment of society, religious or otherwise, and we have seen that throughout the world, sporting clubs and the like. So, um, but obviously there is uh, a unique elements when it's within a religious organisation because there are, things become a little bit more complicated. We've seen incredible positive developments over the last few years that uh, place us in a situation right now where in a much better place than we were a few years ago. Uh, there are now policies and procedures in many institutions. There is greater awareness. There is the, the desire to, to affect change. Uh, a lot of the issues that we are seeing is related to the past and I think many people feel that if we don't acknowledge the past, fully understand what happened and rectify the situation, we will not really be able to make sustainable progress into the future. So um, yes, we're seeing a lot more positive uh, responses to this, um, even within the Catholic Church itself. Uh, and there are many uh, good priests and others within the Catholic Church who are doing the right thing and are working hard on it. We do need to see a significant shift still in the way that the Catholic Church deals with victims and survivors. It needs to put them and their interests well ahead of the interests of the Cardinal himself or the Catholic Church because they have been through absolute hell, many of these victims and their families. Manny, good to speak with you. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Manny Wax there.